Hey guys, Fabulik here today and welcome to Two Point Hospital. I've got a lot of requests to play this. I'm a little, little late. The game came out a few days ago, but we're here now. We're going to go ahead and start a new game. At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mmm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. Welcome to Two Point County. I'm Albert Crank. I'll be your trusty advisor on this journey. Oh, do it. Does he just keep? Okay, I thought I clicked it. I think he just keeps going. Nice. This is Hog Sport, and here's your first hospital. Click on it to get started. Right here. I'm trying, but it's not letting me. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I have played um, the Theme Hospital, and I, I believe I did videos of it. I don't think they're on this channel, though. Oh, look at all my friends that have been playing. Amazing. Um, yeah, I have not played uh, this yet, though. But I, I did play a lot of Theme Hospital, and I think it was on a different channel. And I had videos on it, and I loved it. I loved playing it back in the day. I loved playing it a few years ago, whenever that was. So I'm super excited that we can finally uh, have a new version. It's basically, from what I've heard, it's basically the same game, but updated. <laughs> like, new graphics and that. Two Point Hospital, welcome to Two Point County. Are you ready to start building? Yes, I am. Looking around. Okay, that's just like, I guess, look around. It's probably standard game controls. Nice. Moving the camera, try looking around the building. Hold the right mouse button to drag. Or excuse use W, S, and D. Yep, nice. I'm so good. All right, so we need a reception. Okay, that seems to be the same as the other game as well. Yeah, reception. So I guess, how do I want to do this? You know, I've got to plan out. This is my whole hospital. Um, so if I want to rotate, hold left mouse button. Or, or, or use these. Okay, I'll probably use Z and X. It'll be easier. Um, see, I don't know. Do I want them to, like, walk right into it? Be like, hey, we're right here. Or do I want to have, like... Maybe I want the reception area to be here. And they sort of come around the corner. You know what? I'm going to do this. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but I'm going to do it. I assume I can move it. But I'm going to put it there. So you sort of come in, it's like there, and then maybe once you get, when, you know, once you've checked in, you go back to sit here or something. I don't know. Great. We'll need to hire an assistant to run reception. Let's hire one now. Okay. So we need an assistant. Now, I, from what I've seen, okay, so select a job applicant and then click on the hire button. Now, I think these are, so motivation. Okay. Customer service, increased rep uh, reception and retail skills. So this one obviously has a bunch of bonuses. I mean, does it really matter at this point? I assume it really doesn't matter at this point. But I probably also don't want to spend a bunch of money on someone, right? But this person has no skills, but they cost more than... Ready for training. Oh. No, 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 don't take a seat yet. We've got no one here. Uh, <laughs> no, shut up, lady. Do I... Uh, whatever, just get this guy. I'm going to hire this guy. Class clown. Oh, I don't know if I like short temp. You know what? Has potential. Terribly dull. Dances like tomorrow is a real possibility. Hell yeah. All right, I'm hiring the expensive person just because. <laughs> just, I mean, why not? I mean, hey, this is like a tutorial level, so it's probably fine. General practitioner's office. All right, great. Before we officially open, we'll need a GP's office. Patients will visit a doctor working as a GP. At each stage of diagnosis, the GP will assess uh, patients and decide if they're ready for treatment or if they require further diagnosis. Okay. To build a room, click on the rooms button and pick one from the list. With the room selected, drag out a floor plan. Okay, so rooms, uh, GP's office. Right, so if we're going to do like a reception area here, I mean, we could do the GP just over this section. Maybe so they're just opposite the, yeah, you know what, let's do it here. I can't put it there, but I think what I can, what if I do, oh, you can't, I have to do this. And then in this game, I believe, how do you add more? I think, oh, you go up here, uh, yeah, you can add to room. Oh, yeah. So this is sweet, you know, I like how this, after like, what, 20 years, the innovation is we can now make odd shaped rooms. How good is that? Back in the original game, you couldn't do that. Um, the thing is, I probably don't really want to do that because it looks kind of dumb because then you just have it sort of boxing around that. You know, I think we'll just leave it. But I wanted to do an odd shaped room. Okay, so that's no point. Okay, so what do we need? These are the things we need, I think, with the little thing. Uh, okay, so minimum size 3 by 3 place at office, uh, place a door, office desk, filing cabinet. Okay, so we'll get a door. Uh, I guess this will just go this side somewhere. Eh, yeah, maybe. 
So if I hold... Oh, so if you hold control, you can place it anywhere. Well, anywhere that will actually fit, or you just snap it. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'll put it there, because then we can put some other stuff next to that. All right. So let's get out uh, office desk. So you'll come into the GP. Uh, I want to be this way, so you'll sort of come in. A this is actually a huge GP office. I mean, how much room do you need in here? Um, <laughs> this is like massive. You know what? I guess over there, you just walk straight. That's kind of like, ooh, I wouldn't want to go in this place. This place seems like I don't want to be here. A couple of those. Wait, what else do we need? Oh, that's actually all we needed. But then we can up the prestige of a room if we want. You know what? Let's get a bin. And from what I've seen, we probably want to have a fire extinguisher just in case. You know, it's probably probably not no harm in having one. I'm gonna put it there. Maybe a plant. <laughs> why is this, why did I make this room so big? Okay, that was a mistake. Unless I mean, unless there's other stuff to put in here later. But right now, it looks kind of dumb. <laughs> I'm just gonna accept that. Oh well, if we need to put other stuff in, we can, so. Excellent, now we'll need to hire a doctor to run the GP's office. Alrighty, I know how to do that. Sweet. Okay, so this guy has increased speed and efficiency plus 10% speed. Um, I mean, yeah. At this point, probably be okay if I just hire some the slightly more expensive people. Put him in there. Hire a doctor. Good news, our hospital is now open for business. Patients are starting to arrive. After they register at reception, they'll be sent to the GP for diagnosis. Good. Hello? Oh. Zooming and rotating. Uh, okay. I mean, haven't I be already been doing that like load? Oh, you want- oh my god, okay. So, rotate, zoom. <laughs> Why? Pitch the camera. Oh, uh, there you go. How exciting. Good, I did that. Alright, yeah, thanks, game. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. I like how- <laughs> They arrive in a, uh, an ambulance and then just jump out and walk in. Like, why? <laughs> I like- I really like the aesthetic of this game, though. Super nice, you know? I find it interesting as well that they're just like, you know what, let's just make this exactly like Theme Hospital. Which is not a bad thing, I think it's a really good thing, but I think it's just funny even still that you just get the whole, like, area that's just a big empty room. I don't know, it could've been cool if you just built it out. But I, I... Here's, here's where I think some games go wrong, because I don't know if you guys remember, there was a game called Hospital Tycoon. Uh, here's this guy, look at that. Oh, he's that, that was quick. There's a game called Hospital Tycoon, uh, and it was like, it was trying to be like Theme Hospital, but it like changed too much and it kind of made it worse. Uh, so then it was just like, well, why would I ever want to, like, play this game? Alright, build a pharmacy and hire a nurse. I can do that. What are you pointing at me for? Pharmacy? Oh, it's the same what's required. Okay, where are you going? Okay, so well, if that's- I'm gonna do reception there. I think we'll put some benches or something in there. So what I'll do is I'll build a room. Well, how big does a pharmacy have to be? Uh, three by three. It doesn't actually have to be big, but I probably don't want it to be small. Well, okay, so let's put it here, because we'll end up putting like a hallway, probably, between this. So this is like 11 wide, or maybe two hallways, I don't know. You know what, we'll do this. It'll just be 4 by 3 because then we can fit another smaller room there if we want. Uh, I'll get this door here. Sure. Alright, so the drug mixer, which I guess goes this way. I'll put it there. Look at that, beautiful. And then, is that all I, I guess that's all I need. Uh, but I'll, you know what? It's a pharmacy, so I think we'll do some windows on it. Do they? Oh, that's, that's weird that the windows like go inside. Oh, can this not go in? You know what? Oh, you can't put windows wherever you want because I'm holding down control, but it doesn't let me put it anywhere. Uh, well, I'll put a window there, and I'll put a window there because this will be a hallway, so it'll be fine. This is a pharmacy. I feel like a yeah GP's office. I probably don't want. Whoa! Oh yeah, I haven't built the room yet. Um, yeah, I feel like. Uh, you wouldn't want a window into a GP's office. You know what? Can we put a door? Can we put a door into it? Oh, you can only put one door? Yeah, hold up. Oh, crap. I should probably do- wait, can I pause? <laughs> I should probably get this built <laughs> instead of- I don't know if we need a bin in here, but you know what? I'm just gonna put a bin and fire extinguisher everywhere. And a plant. There we go. Lovely. Look at that. Uh, yeah, because we're, we're kind of getting a queue of people here now. Which, if you hover over a room, that one that appears is the person that's in the queue to get to the pharmacy. There should be more than them, but I think that guy's being booted out at the moment. Yeah, yeah. So these two should be in queue as well. Yeah, one, two, and three. They're all waiting for a pharmacist. Okay, let's hire a pharmacist. Oh, sorry, nurse. Uh, and I guess... Pharmacy management. I guess you probably need this person to be out. Oh, no, they do it too. I'm gonna get the cheaper person this time. So you are... Actually, if I click on you. Positive, the the boy next door. Ooh. Uh, a litterer? What are you littering for? Drops litter around the hospital. An oven card. Really? Whatever. Okay, you're hired. Here you go. Go work in the pharmacy. Alright. Beautiful. Let's resume. Line up, please. 
Cure a patient. Well, we should do that in a second once this thing fires up. What do we have down here? Characters, star oh, hello. Staff, patients, and illness. Uh, use the staff list, patient list, and illness list to monitor and manage the people in your hospital. Quickly find staff and patients and yeah, that's actually, isn't that exactly what I was just doing? Staff list, yeah, okay. Use the staff list, I just read that. Click on someone in the list to jump to them. Use the pay review button to review salaries and pay satisfaction uh, for each staff member. Oh, okay, so if like, if it was like to this person, they're like, uh, satisfied with pay. I mean, they're good enough. Like, you get what you get, you know? Whatever. Well, I assume we'll get into that later on. Um, okay, so we got one person here yeah, waiting for the GP. We got two people waiting for the pharmacist. Hey, cured a patient. Oh, yeah. All right, patient cured. Well done. We've cured our first patient. You've earned some money. Oh, we've earned some money. And the hospital's reputation has improved, which will attract more patients. When a doctor or nurse treats a patient, their ability will influence the chance of success. Some illnesses are tougher than others. Continue diagnosing and treating patients to keep the money coming in. So we can expand the hospital. Right, by curing patients, we improve the reputation. Yeah, that makes sense. Thanks, buddy. Cool. Uh, well, do you want me to just, like, get some stuff? I get, like, benches. See, I wanted this to be, like, the waiting area, you know? Oh, and never mind. Generators and maintenance. Uh, now that we've got some expensive machinery, we should think about looking after it. Machines will deteriorate with use and will need repairing from time to time. If a machine falls into disrepair, it can be a fire hazard. Fires are generally considered uh, a bad for business. Hire a janitor to maintain machines while you're at it. Make sure we've got some fire extinguishers nearby. Uh, yeah, I was way ahead of the crowd. All right, so we want to, before we do something else, let's get a janitor. What about this? 15,000? Wait, wasn't like one of these people only like 4,000? I, I swear this, like this person was cheaper than the janitor. Though I guess the janitors seem to be like also mechanics because they're like maintaining machines. What is this? Whoa, hello. 19,000? What do you get? Allows, uh, so mechanics allows the janitor to upgrade machines. Increased repair and maintenance skill. Wait, play plus 30%. Uh, enhanced repair and maintenance skills plus another 30%. And then... Plus 50% upgrade. Jesus. You're like a... What is this one? Energy drains at a reduced rate. Okay. Allows a janitor to detect captured go and capture ghosts. Hmm. Alrighty. Did not know that was a thing. Allows a janitor to upgrade machines. I mean... Should we just get a super expensive janitor to hire? Recruitment fee $3,000 as well. There you go. Janitors will be called to repair a machine when its maintenance levels fall below 50%. They can also request a janitor to repair it immediately through the item options. Okay. Right, so I think we're kind of working through that list of people, that list of people, the queue of people. Right, keeping people happy. Um, patients will get bored, thirsty, and hungry over time. Make sure they have access to entertainment, food, and drinks, and a comfy seat. Yeah, so that's what I was trying to do just before, which I think now it wants me to. So I think what I want to do, seeing as there's a lot of people waiting outside the uh, the pharmacy here, maybe I can get a couple and of benches. News today. If I just get that just about there. I wonder if I can get a uh, place of leaflet sand. Can I get that right in between? Oh, oh, actually, it's right in front of the window, which is kind of dumb. You know, I'll put the leaflets over here, <laughs> and then I'll put a bin just under the window. No, under the window. There. Yeah, that's better. All right, so now they can sit there. Uh, drinks machine. Right, so this is... this. Is, well, this is where I wanted the original waiting area. So this is where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put a drinks machine there. Snack machine there. Bin in between. Does that make sense? I'm gonna get a plant there and there. Look at this. Maybe one over here too. It's a little bit little bit dull. And I guess a leaflet stand probably by the reception desk somewhere would make sense. Maybe there. Staff energy and breaks. Okay, staff get tired as they work. They will eventually go on break. A staff room will help them relax or return to work energized. Drinks and snacks will keep them happy too. If you make a room larger and fill it with interesting items, it will be considered more prestigious. People using a high prestige room will become happier. So I guess that's kind of why you want a larger room. Uh, whoa, hold up game. Hang on, you're getting, you're getting ahead of me now. I want a purple bench. Unlock for K50. Current total K30. I don't even know what K is. Is that like some... Oh, down here, K30. Earn kudosh for your organization by completing challenges. Oh, okay. Anyway. Uh, no, no, no. I'm not done with this yet. Good news. We've cured five patients. Each cure boosts our reputation. Good stuff. Right, so I want people to be able to sit back here. Like this. You know, this is our waiting area. This didn't really work out too well. You know what? That's going to have to go there. I might actually move... 
How do you... Oh, you just click and hold. Good, alright. Intuitive, I like it. Put that, we'll just move these all along this way a little bit. Alright, so this is main waiting area. Well, I don't know. We'll see if people actually use it or not. Sorry, buddy. You, you're gonna have to move. Hang on, I'm trying to get the bench. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. Alright, that's main waiting area. Now, I'm gonna get a bin. Another bin there, because bin, bins are always useful. Especially in a hospital, you want somewhere to dispose of, I don't know, tissues or whatever. Plant. Look at that. It's a super nice place to sit. Okay. Right, what the hell is this? Send home. I don't know who you are. Go away. Alright, so... Doesn't look like we have too many queues. There's people waiting to get over here, though. Alright, so we need a staff room. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, build a staff room. I swear that voiceover is the exact same as the original game. It's like, not, not like the same recordings, but like it sounds like the same person. It'd be amazing if it is. Um... Alright, so where would I put- I kind of wanted it out of the way, I think, because I left this weird- what if I do this? And have this whole back section as like a giant staff room. Is that too big? I don't know, but it's gonna be a staff room. Wait, did I even- Am I building a staff room? I don't know. Well, anyway, so this will be a hallway here, because I'll put something next to it. Oh my god, this is huge. Alright. <laughs> this is probably way too big. But the prestige is pretty good. So this can be a little couch area. I think I might actually need to move. Hang on, go away. I need to move this. Look at this, nice little couch area. If you want to come sit back here, feel free to do so. Look at that, it's really nice. I mean, it's kind of out of the way, but... Wait, plant, plant, plant. Really? Oh, because I need to be able to get to it, I guess, because I need to water plants. I guess you can't really get to it there, can you? Uh, get one there. So this- okay, what have I done here? Why is- whoops. No, 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 uh, no. I'm just trying to get rid of that. There we go. Let's move this over. Line it up with that couch at least. Because then actually, can we get these in? No, we can't. Can we get a bin in there? Uh, oh, I can get that. Alright, you know what? We'll just get two bins there. Alright, so bins, weird couch area. Uh, whoops. And then we'll get a snack machine. Drinks. This is way too big. I- I've decided. Are those even in line, or are those just like, uh, whatever, who cares, alright. Uh, can I make this room way smaller now, actually? Because I really regret this. So what I'm gonna do is just do this. <laughs> get rid of that, get rid of that door as well. Move that. Uh, right, I'm gonna have to move this, hang on. Go away. Put that there instead, get the door, and then I guess we'll just put something else there. <laughs> Look, it would have been nice. It would have been lovely if it had worked out, but it, you know what? It just didn't. So I'm gonna put a window there. I don't know where it's gonna be looking to, but oh, no. Uh, sure. Look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, hello. Staff will head to the staff room when they're on break. Uh, fill the room with interesting items to help them become fully refreshed before their break ends. No, you can place a member of staff in the staff room to make them take a break, or in a work room to make them work there. Okay. Good to know. Uh, item controls. Oh, okay. Hospital. Yep, sure. Didn't we already look at those? Uh, where is my GP? You, oh, I think. Drinks and snacks are great for keeping people happy, but they can lead to littering if there are no bins nearby. While we're at it, staff and patients will get pretty grumpy if they don't have access to any toilets. You might want to invest in some po quality porcelain. Well, you know what? I left a weird space here, so that looks like just the room to build it in. Again, it might be too big, but whatever. It's just what it's going to be now. Um, I guess I've kind of built this in a way that the hallway would have to be here. I might have to move that door. Because we've ended up with a weird... Yeah, I need to move that door further down. Anyway, so these are my cubicles. Okay. How many do you need? Because I can easily do like six here. We've cured ten patients. Nice! We can do six like that and then we get some sinks. Uh, there maybe... You don't need six sinks, so no one, not all six people are going to be drying their hands at the same time. Right, I mean washing their hands at the same time. We'll get a hand dryer there, we'll get two hand dryers, look at that. Beautiful. A bin, I guess is always good in a bathroom. Oh, that didn't actually place. A bin. A plant. I don't think I can fit a plant anywhere though. Oh, you know what, go by the window. Look at that. I don't know if you need a plant there, but you got one. Fire, is there going to be a fire in the bathroom? Nah, it'll be, it'll be fine. Uh, hang on, whoops. Bin. I was thinking about a bin just here. Yeah. Nice. That's pretty good. Call, smell my cash. There you go. Alright, so I think I'm going to want to move that door. At least over one. How do I do it? Do I just... How do you... Oh, edit. Here we go. Um, 
the desperate solution. Uh, we're hearing reports of some new illnesses in town that might be harder to diagnose. We may need to build a new diagnosis room. If a GP isn't certain, they will send a patient for further diagnosis. Okay, cool. So, well, what I'm going to do first is move this door over. Because then that gives us a 3x3 three three block in the middle that we can use, which is good. So that'll do. Nice. That cost me $2. Right, hospital level. As you expand the hospital with more rooms and staff, the hospital level increases. A larger hospital attracts more patients. As the hospital gets busier, queues may start to get long. We may need to build more GPs, offices, and other rooms and hire more staff. Okay. So you want me to Take a seat. get, get general seat. diagnosis, which a minimum three by three. I think we'll just, you know what? If we can just utilize this, that whole way to the bathrooms is so weird now. But, we'll probably just try and use that, I guess, because it's not very big. See, I'm getting all these really tiny rooms, though, you know? It's kind of weird that the, the, whole, the door to the bathroom is just all the way down there. Um, so I'll put, I'll put the door to the, uh, the general diagnosis just there. So we'll get this thing. What else do we need? We need a bed. Put it next to that, I guess. Actually, I feel like that should be the other way around, you know what I mean? Like against the wall? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that's it. Uh, what's this? Oh, that's just walls. Uh, I think that's all we need, I guess. So, well, I get a few other things. We get like a couple of filing cabinets or something. There'll be a bin nearby. Always good to have that. Get a plant. Can we just like put seats in here or something? They don't even like let you do that. I just want to put, I guess, you know, fire extinguisher is probably pretty good. Can I just put like a sofa or something in here so you can sit down? I mean, there's just not, I mean, there's all this other stuff that I can unlock later on, obviously, but like, not exactly. Appropriate right now. I guess I we'll have to do that later. Whatever. That's where that's gonna go. Um, ward unlocked. Okay. Well, I guess I need. Is that a pharmacist? Or a nurse? Uh, I think I need a nurse for that. Uh, Newsflash: There's a peculiar new illness in town. Lightheadedness. We're going to need some expensive new equipment to deal with this. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock treatment room. We may also need another GP's office. Okay. Well, hang on. Can I, um, how do you, oh, I don't want new people. Let's just get new applicants. Uh, I think we need, yeah, we need someone in there. So you want me to build another GP's office, hire two nurses, we have one. We're gonna get the second nurse now. And then, yeah, we'll need another doctor. Okay, working on it, working on it. Oh God, we're waiting for another applicant, all right. Well, in the meantime, let's build another GP's office, which I guess, uh, they're gonna be really far apart. Like, you'd think you'd put them near each other, but nope. I mean, I guess we can put it here in the middle. You know what, let's do it in the middle. GP's office. Uh, we'll leave a bit of a hallway there. Doesn't need to be that big though. Don't want to do that. Four by four. Yeah, you know what? We'll do that. It's gonna go here. And then you come in. This one's not gonna be at the end of the room like the other one was, because that was kind of weird. You know what, this, is gonna, this one can be here, so you come around the corner. The filing cabinets for some reason are over the other side of the room. Don't know why, but they are. And there'll be a bin here somewhere and a fire extinguisher just in case. Oh, over there, sure. And then what else can we use? A plant. <laughs> There's so much empty space. Maybe I should unload. How much? I've got 60 kudosh. Can I get something? Weighing scales. What about aircon? Small aircon unit. Sweet dispenser. Trophy case. Cupboard. I can get a cupboard. Filled with 10 different types of biscuits and some toilet roll. <laughs> Eye test post. You know what? No. Uh, I don't want any of that stuff. What about la oh, 70? I guess a weighing scale might be good. You know what? Yeah, I got a weighing scale in here. It's kind of. You wouldn't really have it in the middle of a room, though, so I guess it has to kind of just go there. There you go. Enjoy. Alright, so that's a new GP's office, so I need to go hire another doctor. Actually, we've got a new nurse that has no abilities. Okay, assistants, uh, doctors. This guy's got everything. Uh, diagnosis. You know what, maybe... No, the nurse does do that. You can see this sort of going between the two. Okay, that's not a... So this guy's got, um, plus 10 diagnosis skill, 10%. Uh, treatment skills, and also... GP skills. They're 29,000 though. You know what? I'm going to get the middle person maybe. Short temper. Soft hands though, actually. Soft hands good. There you go. You go in there. That guy's going to the bathroom. Okay, we definitely need another nurse. Is uh... Oh, here we go. Whoa! 39,000! I really skimped on that doctor. But I'm going to get this person. Uh, I... I want this guy in here. I want this guy in here. 
Did they just swap? I don't know who's who actually now. Hang on, who are you? Whoops. I'm trying to click on you. Are you the good one? Yeah, you're the good one. Damn, Chief Nurse. Damn, that guy's getting paid. Alright, uh, earn $15,000. Oh, we've almost done $140 left. Hey, the hospital's coming along though. Look at this place. I mean, the reception area will make more sense when that's like sort of closed in and it's not just a random hole. What's this? Newspaper. Uh, deluxe clinic unlocked. Okay, thank you. Alright, hospital star rating. Two point health ministry is keen to recognize the achievement of every hospital in the county. If we can build a hospital that satisfies uh, the needs of the local area, the hospital will be awarded an official star rating. This will be great for our organization. Not only does each star come with associated rewards, but it will also allow us to establish new hospitals around the county. Continue to expand the hospitals to acquire a one star rating. Okay, by completing objectives, challenges, okay, we get kudosh, which I already learned about. Thanks, game. Thanks for being so slow. Uh, didn't it say I needed something with like some new equipment or something at some point? It was like you need some expensive new equipment. Um, but I don't... Wait, what's, you, what's your... Oh, you're cute. Okay. Do we need expensive new equip equipment or are we good? I don't know. I don't know what it wants me to do. I've got deluxe clinic. Oh, cures patient with lightheadedness. Okay, that's actually what we need then. Didn't really tell me to do it though. Cures and diagnoses a range of illnesses like B and B without breakfast, without the breakfast. Okay. Well, maybe we want a deluxe clinic. Because if we've got to do that, I guess that's what we need. Is this just like the clinic? Does it need to be big? It says minimum three by three, but would I want it to be bigger? You know what? Let's just do it like that. We can always change it. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. The expensive new machinery, obviously. I need a console. I don't think it needed to be this, quite this big. So I might, I might downsize the room in a minute. I think that's all I needed in the room. Uh, wait, how much money do we have? $180,000. Okay. Well, let's definitely get a fire extinguisher in here. That's probably going to be good. We got a nice plant in the corner. Got a plant over here. You know, plants are calming. Get a bin near the operator. And that's kind of what, wait, where did my, um... Can I use my weighing scale? Oh wait, I guess, does that come up here somewhere? Where's my weighing scale? Oh, can I not use it in this room? Probably can't use it here. That's a shame. Alright, well what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna <laughs> downsize this room massively. I didn't need to do that. Cut off all that. And, whoops. Whoops. D-Daisy. Oops. <laughs> Put that back. There we go. Let's do that. I think that's good. Ah, and it's prestige level 3 too. Alright, so this, uh, it's gonna go there. Who do I need for this? What, what is, uh... Patient death. Oh. Sad news, our first patient, uh, death. Oh, that was a weird sentence. Patients can die if a treatment fails or if they're waiting too long and their health deteriorates. Hospital reputation will suffer as a result. Okay. There's also a chance the patient will return to haunt the hospital. If this happens, we'll need a janitor to, with a ghost capture qualification. All right. Oh, what's this? Uh, ward required. A patient with bed face is seeking treatment. Room required to treat. Um, get yeah, patient to wait. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, I should probably keep an eye out on these things. I did not know that was there. Uh, we need a ward. Get patient to wait. Alright, doctors have discovered new illness. Misery guards, chronic uh, grumpiness due to nihilistic, nihilistic, semicolon. Cool. Uh, we'll send the patient to true. Okay, cool. By completing objective. Oh, yeah, we saw that. Uh, doctors have discovered new illness. Bog warts. That was for pharmacy. Okay, item control. Okay, that's really early on. And a ward. Alright, so we really need a ward. Who does this, though? Doctor required. Okay, hang on. Let me hire a pause up. Need a doctor. Now, do they need some sort of qualification to do this, or can I just put them in there? I just hired a random person, so I guess that's fine. Right. Okay. Rooms. Um, we need a ward. Hang on. We're ending up with weird rooms here. You know what? Let's leave a hallway there. This is going to be the ward, and then I'm going to finally do an odd-shaped room like this. Whoa! Look at that. So that's going to be the ward. The hallway will continue around this way to wherever that goes. Ward door. Invalid corner location. Maybe if I just spam click it will work. Why is this door so big? Alright, I guess I have to go around there somewhere. Sure. Alright, so then we need a screen. Change our outfit. Uh, yeah, okay. I guess I'll go there. And then we need a nurse station. Oh, this is cool. So it's like a more like a... Uh, oh, it has like a little bedpan thing there. We'll put it there so it's like you come in the... Actually, that's kind of dumb because the door would open this way. Oh, maybe they're opening it out. 
You can see which way the door opens and it's like gonna fling into it. It'd be probably better to do it the other way around, but... Oh, it's just gonna really annoy me. Can I rotate the door? No. It always opens that way. Okay. In that case, let me move this. Let me move this. Move that there. Because then... Oh, hang on. How close to the wall I can go? I guess so. There's a huge gap. Oh, I guess because that's the way the wall... Oh, man. You know what? Whatever, that's fine. And then this changing thing can go over here. In the middle. Okay, so the door should open. I guess, I mean, it looks like it opens that way anyway, but if it opened in, then it doesn't, like, block the, <laughs> the nurse station. Alright, so beds. I guess we just get as many as we want. Oh, hang on. Well, as many that actually fit. We can do two there. Maybe just four. I mean, how many do you really need? We can do one in the middle. There you go. Uh, tiny private space. Do you want a locker? Probably be a good idea, wouldn't it? There's two lockers. That's really all I can fit. Oh, bin would be good. Uh, bin, I guess, and a fire extinguisher. Do we don't really have any machinery in here, though, but I don't really know how fires work in this game, so it's probably better to be safe than sorry. A plant. I'll make him happy. There you go. Nice. And then maybe... What else? A bedside table? That'd be great if we could do it. Um... A chair. For five points. You know what? Let's get the chair. Clock. Cool. Chair. Can, you can come and visit. Look at this. Or not. No, you actually can't. You can't. <laughs> There's no room beside the bed to come and visit. There. And there. Hey! Those two can have visitors. Oh, this has got a plan in the way, though. Oh, actually, you can. Sweet. Oh, there's like one pixel where it works, I swear. Oh, come on. Visitor chair. Oh. <laughs> I'm just like rotating it more and more. <laughs> okay. Okay, no. We'll just have the one chair. No, no, no. That's fine. Uh, should we have a clock? Oh, we can have clocks now? How good is this? We'll have it behind the nurse station. That makes sense. All right, that'll do. I guess this room probably needs a nurse then, right? Nurse required. Yep. Okay. Hire nurses. You, you'll do. You're my only nurse anyway. Okay. Cool. Right. Look at this place. It's beautiful. Oh, hello. Wards. Wards can be used for diagnosis and also to treat a range of illnesses. A nurse is required to admit each patient, look after them, and discharge them when they're ready to leave. Add multiple beds to a ward to deal with more than one patient at a time. You can also adjust the number of nurses that should work there in the room settings. This is useful if you have a lot of patients. Oh, okay, cool. So we can hire more nurses just to take care of it. Uh oh that guy's got a really good idea. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to leave this part here. This is the first part. We'll be back with some more Two Point Hospital in the next episode. So make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. But thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. And have an awesome day. Oops. There we go. Oh, I can't leave my mouse out of the window without it scrolling everywhere. Hmm. Maybe for Alt-Tab. There we go.